Facebook, on Periscope, on YouTube, on our Shepherd's Touch TV. I want to welcome you specifically to this Sunday morning in our online service. We believe that uh, not too long from now, the lockdown will be over 
and we shall be gathered in the presence of God. Today is loaded with power. The presence of God is in this place. I assure you, you will never recover for time and eternity. Something will break loose in your life. I see a transformation that will change. Not only your innermost pain, but even the color of your skin will change. And therefore, wherever you are watching, invite your friends, your loved ones. Call all your friends to hook up right now. And all of you leaders of, uh, of, of group A to group Z, quickly begin to call on all your groups to begin to hook up right now. All of you head of departments, call on your groups. And all G12 leaders, begin to call on your group. Everyone, begin to hook up right now. You can organize watch party because the presence of God in this service will be too contagious, more contagious than chicken paws. Listen, you will never, never recover for time and eternity. Quickly, for the next three to five minutes, we want to give God a brutal praise. And after the praise, I will bring the word that will change your entire life, the sounds of prayer. It's very important for you to understand the mystery behind the sounds of prayer. So wherever you are, I want you to begin to let yourself loose. Stand up from that bed. Stand up from that chair. And begin to flex your muscles. Because you're about to give God the food that he knows the food that he likes, the food that he loves, and that is worship. He does not need your clothes. He doesn't need your money. He needs just your worship. Where worship goes up, power comes down, blessings comes down, glory comes down. So wherever you are, I want you to hook up right now. We are in for some supernatural hyper deluge of the Holy Ghost in this place. So let yourself loose as you begin to praise. Press the sheer bodies. Let more people come on board and begin to enjoy Jesus in the house. Let us flow in praise. Hallelujah. Can you put your hands together? Everybody, come on. Wherever you are, let's be on our feet. As to give God praise. Hey, cause I'll be red. Cause if I'll be red. For my soul, Lord, will be red.
on high. You reign 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 on high. Lift up your voice and just worship. You reign on high. Baraga baga barodo lo boshita la bras. Malabaraga da barabara bosondo goboze. Merada la boshita la brada la barabara. Baraga to goborodo ski brande gabas. Mamara barabu shenta la barabara 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 barabara. Kora seka di la brada. Mana la barabara 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 bashada. Why I lift my voice? Oh, lift up your hands wherever Why you are. Why I sing to you? Give him another one minute worship hey. wherever you are. You are the reason I'm alive today. I am here to say it's all because of you. Pray in the Holy Ghost wherever you are. Make sound in the spirit. Rekata la branda la baragadas. Baragada baragados. Baragada baragadas. Lift up the mouth of us. Tele branda la baragada. Baragada gabarada gabasaya. In Jesus' name. The most important time of a service is not when the word of God is preached. The most important time of service is when you worship him. You are not wasting your data. You are not wasting your time. Get into God. Make some sound in the spirit. The sound you make will determine what will come out for you. Because every sound has a particular spirit. So let us connect to the supernatural right now. Because something heavier than you is about to be downloaded. 
you can't recover in this service. So wherever you are, just lift your hands in one second and just appreciate God. Appreciate him one more time for being alive. Many have been cut down by coronavirus. Many are in the hospital languishing in pain. But you are in your living room. You are in your bedroom. You are in your parlor. You are in your car. Why not lift those holy hands and give him thanks and praise one more time. One more time. One more time. Give him thanks. As we sing this last song, this last song, before I bring the word. We bless you, Jesus. Hey, mighty God. Hallowed be your name. Hey, faithful God. You are worthy to receive. Oh, give All him the thanks. For you alone. You're the air that I breathe. You're the song that I see. You're the lover of my soul, mighty God. Mighty God. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Faithful God. Faithful God. You are worthy. You are worthy to receive all the praise. For you alone. You are Lord. You're the air. You're the air that I breathe. You're the song. You're the song that I sing. Oh God. You're the honor of my soul. With you. With you. There is no impossibility with you, with you. I can move the mountains, whatever you say, but surely come to pass at the mention of your name. Every knee, every knee must bow. Lift the voice, unchangeable, unchangeable God, reliable God. Number one, press the sheer buttons. The sounds of prayer is what we are looking at. This is our month of finishing the unfinished work of Christ, the unfinished work of the church. One of the unfinished work of the church is prayers. Acts chapter 2 and verse 1. When the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were together in one place. Suddenly a sound like a mighty rushing wind came from heaven and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. They appeared unto them cloven tongues as of fire and being distributed and rested on each of them. And they were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them to speak. Prayer is a spirit praying through mortality. Prayer is a lifestyle for survival in this kingdom. Prayer is the tools of internal relevance. It cannot be exhausted in time and it can never be exhausted in eternity. 
prayer is when humanity, when divinity prays through humanity to take control of our physical activity. Prayer is the realm of sounds. The realm of sound is the realm of prayer. Man was designed to traffic in the realm of the spirit. The realm of the spirit is the habitant of man. Man was created as a dependent being. Man was crafted and designed to depend on spirits. We are created to submit to deity. The realm of the spirit forbid vacuum. I hear people say, I can't serve God. It means you have automatically signed to serve the devil. Because as a spirit being, you must be wired for something. We are designed to traffic in the dimension of spirit beings so that man can fulfill the essence for why he is created. Man's life can be a summation of the desires of spirits. Man's life is a summation of the desires of spirit. Man's life is a summation of the needs of spirits. Man's life is the reflection of the possibilities of spirits. The possibilities that are in spirit. Man's life is a reflection of such possibilities. Press the share button. Somebody needs to be blessed. Hear me, sir. One of the ways we can manifest the possibilities of spirit is when our spirit is wired to the sounds in prayer. There are sounds we make in prayer. The sounds of prayer is the sounds that wire us to our true essence as spirits. Hear this, sir. The realm of prayer is the realm of sound. Prayer produces spiritual sound. Every sound carries a voice. Prayer flows through the gateway of sounds. Absent of sound is absent of prayer. Where sound is lacking, prayer is absent. Sounds of prayer transmit God into our world. Sounds of prayer transmit God into our affairs. Sounds of prayer transmit God into our atmosphere. The realities of God, his dimensions are transmitted by sounds. The realities of God and the dimensions that are in God are transmitted by sounds. So if you cannot make sounds in the spirit, hear me, you'll be lacking in the dimensions of God. So you become a misfit in your generation. What projects relevance in your life? What makes you a relevant entity on the earth that makes your generation not to ignore you is the capacity to make sounds in the spirit because every sound identifies you with a voice and every voice identifies you with a spirit follow me sir the realities of God the dimensions of God are communicated by sound that is why the Bible says if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth until there is sound, you cannot be saved. So to usher you to the dimension of the heavenlies, to usher you to the height of the heavens, to usher you to a relationship with God is battered by sound. No sound, no relationship. 
if we confess until sound comes out of our innermost being we are not wired we are not connected to the divine we are never known as children of god until we say something the sound we make determines the presence of the deity we command hmm. follow me because you'll be blessed some believers the kind of sound they make has trapped their possibilities have caged their possibilities the kind of sounds they make have swallowed their possibilities in this physical world that is why many children of god are confronted with abundance of impossibilities abundance of failures abundance of limitation because of the kind of sounds we make on a daily basis many are going about making the sounds of unbelief projecting the sounds of doubt projecting the sounds of the absence of scriptures in their spirit they make sounds that are produced from satanic informations sounds that are produce from worldly connections and as a result of those sounds we make hear me child of god we produce impossibilities in places of possibilities the limitation of mortal men is at the mercy of their sounds that they make what kind of sound are you making what kind of sound are you making hear me hear me sir words are conveyors of sounds what are you saying what kind of things are you saying? Because prayer is not only when we kneel down in a posture. Prayer also is affected when our thoughts is running. Prayer is affected when we make sound. This is my life self. I don't tire. You are making sounds. Oh boy, I don't suffer. You are making sound. Oh boy, things are not working. I make, you are making sound. Corona don't finish me. Nothing to show. You are making sound. It is not when you kneel down in the church and say our father who art in heaven is where you are making sound. Every idle man, words that men speak they shall be judged by that. You don't need to go to heaven to be judged. The realm of the spirit judges you immediately. Every careless word that men speak they make sound. They attract spirits. Sound is so important that your salvation is given to you on the platform of sound. If you confess, when you make the sound of confession, bam, salvation enters. So if salvation comes by sound, many people's failure is released by the sounds they make. Many people's shortcomings, many people's barriers is as a result of the sounds they make. Words are conveyors of sounds and sounds are conveyors of spirits. Hear this. The spirit of possibility speaks. The spirit of breakthrough speaks. The spirit of prosperity speaks. You want to rise in glory, speak, make certain sounds. The possibilities that are in prayer, child of God, child of God, is not only when we speak in prayer, but even in our behaviors, we are making sounds. Our behavior have nullified our sounds. So our behavior, that is the way you behave, it becomes a sound in the spirit. One of the behaviors of prayer is the confession of our mouth. The speakings of our tongue. Learn to make the right sounds so that your destiny is not buried in obscurities. Words releasing sounds. And sound defines the state of your heart. The kind of sounds you make is a revelation of the state of your heart. What sits in your heart is find, finds expression by the sounds of your mouth. Sounds shows the condition of your heart. Every man makes sound according to his subconscious belief. Every man makes sounds according to his subconscious belief. My friend, sound don't come. Sounds are offsprings of what sits in your heart. The condition of your heart reveals the sounds you make. And the sounds you make releases the spirit that accompanies you. 
What kind of spirit works with you? What kind of spirit accompanies you in this mortal life? As you journey through in life into eternity, what kind of spirit have you employed and deployed to work with you? Spirits are attracted by the sounds you make. So my friend, you must saturate your life with angelic sounds. You must go love sounds so that the fabrics of the earth we are mixed with sounds. That's why when you eat the earth, you hear sound. When you hear the pulpit, you hear sounds. When you hear the speaker, you hear sounds. When you slap somebody, you hear sound. Everything created, God mixes it with sound because sound is the voice of eternity. The realm from which you are healed, the realm from which you are made, the materials and the stuff that created you, we are mixed with sounds. The spirit realm only knows that you are alive when you know how to make sounds. How to make sounds. My friend, don't be saying things are hard. Never be saying things can't work. Never be saying I am finished. Stop saying that I am dead. Stop saying that I am, my life is going down. Most believers, no matter how much we preach to them, they are uprooters of blessings. They are uprooters of impartation. When we impact on them, they make sound that uproots blessings. When we lay hands on them, they make sound that uproots impartation of the deposits of God. What kind of sounds do you make? Many of you, you only make positive sounds when you are in church. Outside of church, there is no sound you make. No good sound. All your sounds are negative sounds. All your sounds are sounds of evil intentions. That is why Paul spoke to Philemon. He said in Philemon 1, he said that the communication of your faith may be effectual by the acknowledging of every good works that is wrought in thee. Hear me. He said that your faith may be effective. So nothing amplifies and get your faith to produce like the kind of sound you make. He said by acknowledging, by speaking into reality, every good works that we are wrought in you by Jesus Christ, you must acknowledge it. If you don't acknowledge and make the right sound, Satan will help you to make negative sounds. Sir, positive sound brings life to your belief. In order to make the right sounds, you must know the word of God in your heart and the word of God in your mouth. Thou shalt meditate on it day and night. That thou, this book of the Lord, shall not depart from your mouth. But it, how will it not leave your mouth until it sits in your heart? It is your heart that gives what your mouth says. And your, how, your mouth is what the realms of sound is. And the realms of sound, child of God, determines the spirit that accompanies your mortal earth. Many of you, no matter how we pray for you, what follows you after church is deadly. No matter what we pray for you, what follows you from your father's house finds expression by the kind of sound you make. Hear me, sounds invite spirits. You can't be speaking life and walk in the corridors of death. You can't be speaking greatness and walk in the corridors of smallness. No, 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 no. The, your entire life is built to respond to sound. Your entire destiny, no matter the weightiness of that destiny, is reduced or amplified by the sound you make. Hear me, sir. You must know the word of God as a speaking material. The word of God is the parent matter of all created things. The word of God is the parent matter of all created things. Hear me, a child of God. Void of the word of God is emptiness of sound. <laughs> the Bible says every sound has a particular spirit. Every sound has a particular spirit. Is somebody hearing what God is saying to us here today? So the word of God, child of God, is the parent matter of all created things. Any attempt to see possibilities that are in your prayers without making right sound out of the boy of scripture is an exercise in futility every attempt for greatness without making the right sound out of the abundance of scriptures in your spirit it is an attempt in futility 
Any attempt to get married. Any attempt to succeed. Any attempt to break through in life. Any attempt to make it in ministry. Without the right speakings. From the buoyancy of scriptures. That lies in your heart. My friend. It is an attempt in futility. Because it will not amount to anything. Your sound is vehicled by what sits in your heart. Press the sharp button. Somebody needs to be blessed. Somebody needs to be blessed. Is somebody hearing what God's saying? It is an exercise in futility. That's why Romans chapter 15 and verse number 4. He said, whatever was previously written, it was written for our instruction. Romans chapter 15 and verse 4. Please, can you get it for me on the screen? Whatever is previously written, it was written for our instruction. So that through patience and encouragement of scriptures, we may have hope. So that through patience and the encouragement of scriptures, we may have hope. So what brings our hope to bear? What brings our hope to produce the results we are looking for? It is the encouragement of scriptures that sit in our heart. Whatever has been written in scripture, it was for our encouragement. It is for our instruction. So that whatever the scripture says is to bring us to the place of hope. And where there is hope, there is manifestation. Where there is hope, there is reality. Where there is hope, there is a breakthrough. I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus. Receive our the appetite or table appetite for scriptures and for the word of God in the mighty name of Jesus. To lift up your hands, say, Lord, increase my hunger. Say, Lord, increase my hunger. Can I talk to somebody here? Yes, sir. Spiritual laziness towards the word of God will jeopardize the creation of your speaking wall. Spiritual laziness towards the word of God. We jeopardize. It will kill the creation of your speaking wall. Your wall of sound will be empty. Your wall of sound will be empty. Even when you pray, it is an empty prayer. What fit prayer is the sound you make? The sound you make is drawn from the buoyancy of scriptures. My friend, it's time to make the right sound. My friend, by creating your own sound in prayer, you determine your own experience. It doesn't matter what is happening around people. It doesn't matter what is happening in our generation. You don't sink with the sinking boat. You don't die with the dying wall. You don't suffer their suffering. You don't have their experience. Because by creating your own sound, by creating your own sound, you determine your own experience. So what is the experience of your mother's children can never be your experience. What is the battle of your mother's children can never be your battle because by your sound, you become another kind of them. With your sound, you take difference and you separate yourself from others. Hear me, sir. When your realm of sound is intact, you ultimately influence everything around you. When the realm of sound that you command is intact, when the kind of sound you make is out of the buoyancy of scriptures, my friend, it influences everything around you. It influences your relationship. It influences your finances. It influences your health. Because he said they are held to them that find it. And it is, it is life to their soul. It influences your relationship with your boss. It influences the outcome of every effort you make in life and destiny. My friend, everything that summarize, summarizes your existence is, re, is, is, is reflected, is calculated. It is positioned to answer to the kind of sound you make in this life. What kind of sound are you making? When you pray, what kind of sound are you making? When you are in the toilet, what kind of sound are you making? When you are traveling, what kind of sound are you making? How, what do you say when we release you out of church? What are your sounds? Praise the sharp body. Somebody needs to be blessed. The battle of Jericho. The battle that Joshua fought in, jo in Joshua chapter 10 verse 10 to 12. He created sound of victory by saying, Son, stand still at Mount Gibeon. Moon stand still at the valley of Agelon until I avenge of my enemies. When he discovered that he was almost he was almost losing the battle that prophecy gave him. He was losing the battle that the map of God for his life was crafted for him. The Bible says he rose up in the midst of the battle. It was the night was set. 
and the night was to come and the enemies were to use the cover of the night and escape and to be at large he lifted up his hands at 6 30 he says sun stand still at the mountains of gibeon moon stand still at the valleys of Ajalon. he made a sound in prayer and the sun went into the heavens. the sun went into the height of the heavens the sun went into the ears of the immortal god and the bible said the earth rotation came to a standstill the earth evolution was kept on the hold for 24 hours so that a man can fulfill his prophecy so that a man can fulfill his destiny what kind of sound that god gave you a word doesn't mean there will be no aggression that god gave you a prophecy doesn't mean that not till we fight your prophecy the kind of sound you make levels powers demolishes mountain shatter barriers crushes darkness gives you sailing through in the midst of your enemies what kind of sound are you making what kind of sound are you making sir when you don't make the right sound in prayer you'll be accessible to demonic powers you'll be accessible to the wickedness of men. When you don't make the right sound, the right sound in prayer, sir, you'll be perpetually at the mercy of devils and demonic agents. You'll be perpetually at the mercy of satanic aggression and antagonism. Sir, your sound delivers you from the vulnerabilities of devils. It delivers you from the very vulnerability of the wickedness of your time. You are not confronted and swallowed by the unfavorable conditions of life that confront you. Your sound determines the template with which divinity works with you. Your sound determines the template with which the heavens will operate with you. Hear me, men who make sound, they walk in the corridors of power when others are suffering defeat. Men of sound. Men of sound. The spirit forbid you to exist without making sound. I hear people say, I'm praying in my heart. My friend, you are by and large. Your will without your sound is a waste of time. Your will without your sound, child of God, can be interrupted by demonic powers. I, I will to marry. I, it is my desire. I am speaking it in my heart. My friend, it's time to be vociferous. It's time to speak aloud. Let the trees, let the mountains, let your bedroom, let the toilet, let your TV, let your AC hear your voice. Let them hear the sound. Let them hear the roaring and the groaning of your spirit. Let it ascend to the heights of the heavens. Let the immortal God that sit in the chambers of heaven begin to respond to you. It's time to make a sound. It's time to make a sound. Sir, the sound you created on your knees is what makes you different from your father's children. The sound you create in your knees is what separates you from others. Child of God, if you don't make sound, you'll be victims of other people's sound. If you don't make sound, you'll be victims of the sound that is created in your father's house. Hear me, by your sound, sir, you create your own wall. By your sound, you create your own experience. By your sound, you create your own oppression. By your sound, you determine the template with which divinity will operate with you. By your sound, hear me, you operate with the manual of divinity or the manual of earthly realms. By your sound. So the kind of spirit that works for you are contained and trapped in sound. The kind of spirits that work for you, they are contained and trapped in sound. If you don't know how to make sound, you cannot be a container of spirit. You can't trap the spirit of power. You can't trap the spirit of grace. You can't trap the spirit of help. You, my God, am I talking to somebody here? You can't trap the spirit of prosperity. Hear me? All the spirit that must work for you, they are contained and trapped in sound. Absent of sound is presence of vulnerability to the voices and the spirits and the culprits of your time. The spirit of breakthrough travels in the direction of the sound for breakthrough. The spirit of breakthrough travels in the direction of the sound for breakthrough. If you don't alter sound, sir, you'll be bankrupt of the spirit in your atmosphere. If you don't know how to make sound, you'll be bankrupt of the spirit in your atmosphere. Your atmosphere will be upset of the spirit of God. So your atmosphere can be demonized. That's why people walk on the atmosphere that fights breakthrough. No matter what they touch, it doesn't work. No matter what they touch, it doesn't work. 
All of you believers looking for pastor to pray for you. That's why you are where you are. God never wants pastor to create sound for you. You are to create your own sound. Because there is a limit to which the sound of a pastor over your life will, will manifest. Because you see, when you come into the faith, God allows the sound of your pastor to keep you alive and sustain you for a given time. After some time, you are to grow from children to sonship. And hear me, child of God, it is in sonship we divide inheritance. As soon as children, we, we give you peanuts. As children, we give you fin the bottles. As children, you don't determine what you want to eat. We give you what you eat. But when you grow up, you start making some sounds. When you begin to make some sounds, some inheritance are delivered to you on the spot. You walk in your own glory. <laughs> you walk in your own grace. What coronavirus came to do for us is to make the individual Christian have his own sound. For two months, you are not in church. What kind of sound are you making? For two months, there was no pastor to counsel you. What kind of sound are you making? For you to come back after two months and be lining up for pastor to pray for you, you are a disaster. If you have not learned anything in COVID-19, you should learn that it is time to develop your own spiritual muscles. Your pastor is your coach. Your pastor is not there to lead you the way. He's to coach you. You are to deal with the bastard devil the way you want it. For two months, it will shock you. Many never made any sound. And they want me, July, June, to give them something. Two months, you were not in the workplace. The things you gave excuses for, why you are not making sound, we are taking from you. Yet you sat down like dumb dog in your house watching TV, season one to season five. Your mouth totally closed. My friend, hear me. Absent of sound. Is bankruptcy of spirit. Bankruptcy of the spirit of God in your atmosphere. And can I tell you, the spirit realm forbids vacuum. If God is not occupying your atmosphere, get ready. Something negative must occupy your atmosphere. So refusal to make sound is agreement to allow Satan take over your atmosphere. My friend, it is the sound you make in prayer that directs the energy of the spirit in your direction it is the sound you make in prayer that directs the energy of divinity in your direction heaven will not release its energy its essence into your life until you are able to make some sounds <laughs> why is sounds in prayer important number one Sound, spirit travels in sound. Number one, why is sound important in prayer? Because spirits travel by sound. Hear me and hear me well. Elijah said, I hear the sound of the abundance of rain. My friend, was that physical? Was that physical? The man was a man of the spirit. He prayed to a point that he peeped into eternity and entered to the boardroom of Jehovah and saw that it was time for rain to come. And the word of the Lord said unto Elijah, Elijah, go show yourself to Ahab, for I will send rain. It was the sound of the spirit. It was the voice of the spirit. Every spirit carries a voice. I'm coming to that. Hear me, sir. Spirit travels by sound. They will never bring your inheritance and bring your blessings. They will never travel to your destination. They will never travel to bring your expectations until they hear your sound. Until they hear your sound. The, round, the sound of the spirit is irrelevant until there is a mortal man who can interpret the sounds of the spirit. The spirit is always making sounds. Spirit travels by sound. He am a child of God. The amount of sound you can be able to hear in the spirit will determine the amount of spirits that are going to travel with you in this journey of life. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying here? Elijah said, God said, show yourself to Ahab. That was enough for him to go and sleep and drink. That was enough for him to go and relax. <laughs> but the Bible says he went to the mountains of Carmel. <laughs> he bowed his head in between his knees. 
making sounds. Igalaba, Igalaba, Ilagalaba, giving expression to the sounds he had in heaven. There are always sounds in the spirit, but there must be a man who must interpret the sound because every sound is accompanied by spirit. Till it travels by sound, he began to groan. He put his head in between his knees. He groaned. He made certain sound, and the angel and he said to the uh, servant, "Go and check." He said, "Sir." There is nothing. He looked at it. He says five centimeter. Mayaga, Mayaga, Mayaga. He said check again. He said nothing. He looked at it. He said it is ten centimeter. He ilaga, he ilaga. No matter a woman want to give birth to a child, there are certain dilation realms she must get to. Am I talking to somebody here? If she like, let her cry, poo poo, and urinate is a waste of time. Until she get to thirteen, fourteen centimeter from that realm, when they see the dilation. And then they, they will say to her, Madam, push. Then the water will break power. And she will push out her miracle. The dilation of the spirit did not call for six times. It called for the seventh time. To give birth to 14 centimeters. In the horizons of the spirit. In the measurement of the spirit. On the seventh time. He said, I see a cloud. It takes a sound to bat the sound of the spirit. It takes a sound for spirit to travel to effect your prophecy and your prophetic word. Elijah said, tell, tell Ahab to hurry up. The rain will catch up with him. And the Bible said, and the Lord brought rain. Many years after, Apostle James, the pastor of prayer, began to give us the revelation behind Elijah's miracles why he could stop the rain and why he could release the rain why all of these things were working he said he was a man of like passion but the man knew how to make sound in prayer he knew how to groan in the spirit he knew how to roar like a lion in the spirit it was in the place of prayer that Elijah determined times and seasons of his generation and moved spirit to travels on his behalf there was a there was there was a movement there was a traffic of spirit between heaven and earth in the days of Elijah, spirits were put to work. Spirits were restless. Some of you, the angels attached to you, have been sleeping for 10 years because there is no sound that propels them. Angels are moved by sounds. He said, Bessie is angel who are akin to the word of his command. So where there are sounds, angels are activated. Many of you, your angels are sleeping because you are not making sound. Pray like a lomokot, like a stamara that is trying to recover like a man who is recovering from epilepsy <coughs> father god oh, oh. is it a cough or is it a prayer can somebody make some sound in the spirit? When the day of Pentecost fully came, it was interpreted by sound. The Bible said there came a mighty rushing sound. The internal agenda of God. Fine expression by sound. Shekote ekalosia. Rakote palite lebrandas. Somebody shall fire. Anytime we make sound, we give expression to the energy of God. We give expression to the essence and the life of the spirit. We give expression to the essence and the life of the spirit. That is why God said to Moses in the book of Numbers, chapter number 6, I want you to read from verse 23. God said, whenever you appear before the children of God, Moses, make sure you make a particular sound because their life will be a reflection of the sound you make over their life. That is why every pastor must know how to make sound. Every Dibia knows how to make sound. My friend, you can be a pastor if you are crippled. You can be a pastor if you are blind. You can be a pastor if you are deaf. But you cannot be a pastor if you are dumb. I have seen a blind native doctor. They have never seen a dumb native doctor. Because what makes you important in the realm of the spirit is the capacity to make sounds. People like Pastor Apostle Baba, uh, uh, Obadari blind but commanding blind eyes to see. Commanding dead to see. The day they built CAC headquarters he said Lord 
I want to ask one more thing. You told me it is your will for me to remain blind so that I can continue to preach. But open my eyes that I may see this building just for once. And the Lord opened Obadere's eyes. He saw the building of the CAC, Christ Apostolic Church. He knelt down and worshipped God and described all the buildings. The moment he finished dedicating, the eyes closed again. To show you that it was the internal purpose of God. Are you following what I'm saying here? What kind of sound are you making? What kind of spirit have you deployed and employed to assist you in this mortal realm? Life is spiritual. Every mortal man is created to depend on deity. That's where the importance of prayer. Praise the shepherd and somebody needs to be blessed. Read for me, sir. In Numbers chapter 6 and verse, verse 23, sir. Speak un unto Aaron. See the effect of sound. Speak unto Aaron. And unto his sons. And unto his sons. Saying. Saying. On this wise. On this wise. This is how to make sound. Calibroja. This is how to do what? Make yes. sound. On this wise. Ye shall bless the children you of You will Israel. bless them not by stretching your hand uh -huh. like a stammerer. <laughs> no. You didn't say by stretching your leg. No, you will bless them how? Saying unto oh, them. Kala, making a sound over their head. Yes, sir. The Lord bless thee. What kind of sound? The Lord bless thee. You. And keep thee. And keep you. The Lord make his face shine. The Lord you. make his face shine upon you. And be gracious unto thee. And be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon the thee. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you. And give thee peace. And give you peace. And they shall you, put my name. You can hold it. You can yes, hold it. He said, when you appear before the children of Israel, that's why every pastor must learn to make sound over his people. Fathers, learn to make sound over your family. Don't be making negative sound. See your head like gorilla. See your nose like a farmer. Those insults, you are making sounds. You are shaping the destiny of your children because you are an authority figure. But for Moses, God said, make a sound. That's why you must bless your people at the beginning of the service, at the end of the service. He says, say to them, the Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious unto you. May he lift up the light of his countenance upon you. And may he give you peace. You will say it. Make the sound. So we hear me. Anytime we bless we give expression to the energy of heaven. Anytime we bless we give expression to the intentions of heaven for our life. We propel all the forces of eternity. We deploy them to assist you on the blessing is ensured and ensured in your physicality. These powers won't give up. Place the keyboard small for me. Let me hear the tune. The sound of the spirit. You have to be a spiritual man, young man. Let me hear the sounds of the spirit. Adonai you reign on earth. We will rise in Adonai, you reign on earth. Adonai, 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 you reign on high. What are the importance of sounds? Why is sound important? Number two, we established that three spirit travels by sound. That is number one. Number two, sounds in prayer are the activators of seasons and dispensations. Sounds we make in prayers, they are the activators of seasons, times, and dispensations. In Acts chapter 2, what activated the dispensation of the Holy Ghost? Sound. Sound gives us.
preparation to the dispensation of the Holy Ghost. When the day of Pentecost was fully come, Acts chapter 2, and there came the sound from heaven like a rushing mighty wind to bat a dispensation called the dispensation of the Holy Ghost. Every season of a man's life, every time and dispensation of a generation is batted on the platform of sound. No sound, no activation of seasons. Anytime you are tired of where you are, you want the seasons of your life to change, begin to raise sounds. Sounds in the morning, sounds in the midnight, sounds in the early hours, sounds at night, sounds when you are eating. When you begin to pray without ceasing, when you begin to make sound effortlessly, when you begin to make sounds till you cross the horizontal line of confidence, my friend, you begin to bat a new season. When a lady is tired of being single, start making sounds. When you get tired of rattling in tongues, begin to make melody in the spirit. When you get tired of making melody, you begin to begin to begin to worship. Begin to worship. Break forth. <laughs> oh spirit of the deep. <laughs> Cry out, God, to the Lamb upon the throne. Break forth, break forth, break forth. Oh, Spirit of the deep, cry out, God, to the Lamb upon the throne. Hey, break forth, break forth, break forth, break forth. Oh, Spirit. Cry out, God, to the, to the Lamb upon the throne. Hey, you reign, you reign, you reign, you reign. Oh, ancient Zion King, cry out, God, to the, to the Lamb upon the throne. Hey, spirit you sing melody you make sounds when you wake up in the middle of the night to go to toilet anytime you want to bat a season it is time to make sounds the bible says when the holy ghost was to arrive there was a sound in heaven that give expression to the arrival of the holy ghost i make a sound in the spirit after this covid 19 you are coming out strong you are coming out blessed you are coming out more anointed you are coming out more lifted somebody shall sound Break forth, O oh, Spirit of the deep, cry out, God, to the Lamb upon the throne. To the Lamb upon the throne. Hey, break forth, break forth, break forth, break forth, break forth. O oh, Spirit of the deep, cry out, God, God, through the Lamb upon the throne. Break forth. Break forth, break forth, break forth, oh spirit of the deep, cry out, cry out God, 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 to the Lamb, to the Lamb upon the throne. Even the dispensation of the rapture is going to be introduced with a sound. The dispensation of the rapture will be battered with a sound. The arrival of grace was, was, was with a sound. Angels proclaim, Oh, come, let us adore him. 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 The 
Bible says, well, shepherds watch their flocks by night. They hear a sound. They hear a sound. The angel aroused his coming. The angel introduced a new dispensation with a sound. And First Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 14, the Bible said, And the trumpet of the Lord shall sound, <laughs> and we shall be changed in a twinkle of an eye. In a moment, corruption will wear incorruption. Mortality will wear immortality. And we shall be caught up to meet the Lord in the heavens. Every new season, every new dispensation is battered and activated by a sound. Are you tired of the seasons of your life? Are you tired at the level you are? Are you tired of why things are not working? It's time to make some sound in prayer. When Elijah was to introduce rain, he had to make a sound. Can I talk to somebody here? All through the pages of scriptures, from Genesis to Revelation, every new season, every new bath, every new dispensation was activated. You're tired of your broke state. Jesus, make some sound. Jesus. Make some sound. Yes, sir. This sound I'm talking about, Pastor can make the sound for you. If you like, be dry. Yes, sir. You will die with nothing to show. If you lack, be dumb. Uh -huh. Say nothing about your life. Jesus. You'll be empty of glory and power. Yes, sir. You are a musician. <laughs> it's not enough to sing. Woo! You must make some sound so that you can bat some new songs. From the realm of eternity, yes, from the heights of the heavens, yes, you will bat some songs. The angels alone are the ones that sang it. It's time to make a sound. Press the sharp button. Somebody needs to be blessed. You can organize watch party. This is not a normal message. It's a dispensational message. People who do business in the spirit and men of sounds. Men who are becoming relevant in their generation are men of sound. Your season can only be activated by sound. Your battles, child of God, will be judged by the sound you make. Your battles will be judged by the sound you make. Your Jerichos are coming down by the sound you make. God said to Joshua, it's a new season. Moses is dead. Now Joshua, my servant, arise. It's a new dispensation. The, the batting of that dispensation was with the sound. You shall go round Jericho seven days, once every day, quiet. On the seventh day, seven time, quiet. On the seventh time, make a sound, make a noise, make a sound. Make a noise by the sound. Jericho came down. Jericho came down. Your financial Jericho, your marital Jericho is coming down by the sound you are making. Sing forth, O Spirit of the deep. You are mighty on the throne. 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 You are bigger than the biggest. You are mighty on the throne. You are stronger than the strongest. You are mighty on the throne. You are mighty on the throne. There are many altars fighting you. Those altars can be handled by the sound you make. The Holy Spirit in your life is ineffective. 
until you engage sound. The power of God in your life is waste until you engage sounds. Sound can create anything you want. Sounds are creators. Sounds are creators. They create everything you desire. Sounds in prayer can create your world. Can create your own experience. Number three. Why is sound important? Sound in prayers are vehicle of transportation. Anywhere you want to reach in life, sounds in prayer can take you there. Prayer is possible by sound. Paul speaking in 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 2. He said, I knew a man 40 years ago. Whether in the spirit or in the flesh, I cannot tell. But because the man made a sound, the spirit carried him and transported him from the realm of the mortals and take him into the corridors of eternity, into the third heaven, and begin to peep into the boardroom of heaven. He said, mysteries were excavated. Mysteries were discovered. The human mouth cannot alter. I was here, but I was transported. Men of sound are men who transport themselves to any destination. That is why Elisha could look at Gehazi and say to him, Deep my spirit, travel with you, Caleb Agasata. By the mystery of sound, you can know what is happening in your company. Go, you can be on your knees and God will transport you to your boss office where they are holding a meeting about your downfall. God can transport you where you are to your village where native doctors are holding meetings and then you will scatter them and come back. You can determine people's outcome and destiny by the transportation the spirit carries you in the place of sounds. Didn't my spirit travel with you when you alighted the man on chariots. He thought Elijah was, Elisha was a mortal man. But he didn't know by the kind of sounds Elisha make. He has become a spirit that can, transport, can be transported. Spirit realm began to transport him. He began to move from destination to destination. You can be here and know what is happening to your children in school. You can be here in the midst of sounds and begin to see whether your son in the university is about to be introduced to occultism or not. How can you be there and everybody around is going wayward and there's no sound in your atmosphere that can transport you to the realm of the spirit to know the kind of spirit people are possessing. It's time to make sounds. Sounds are vehicle of transportation. You want to enter destinations? You make some sounds. Make some definite sound. God will never do anything except he will make certain sounds. God will never move and help you out of the wishes and the attacks of your enemies until you make certain sounds. What kind of sounds are you making in the spirit? Somebody is planning to kill you because you are not making sounds. The importance of sound is very important. <laughs> 1985, Dr. Abel visited me in school. <laughs> he told me, I just came out of a pray prayers of two weeks. He said, the Lord told me to pray eight hours every day for two weeks. So I just came out of prayers right now. And I branched your school to see how you're doing before I proceed. I'm on my way to Bauchi. you. Then I was calling in jaws. I said, thank you, sir. I'm grateful you visited us. He said, let's pray before we go. We held hands. Just prayer to travel became three hours in Tongue. We tongued for three hours. Kuta, 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 kuta. Mandega, Kikado, Zigado, 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 Zigado. Before I know, Dr. Damina just turned. He said, I smell suicide. I smell suicide. I smell suicide. He now talked to the lady. He said, You, I smell suicide on you. I'm right now in your house. I'm seeing a rope you bought to hang yourself. She fell on the ground and started crying. That was the day I fell on the ground and said, Lord, open my eyes. How can somebody be dying right under my nose and I cannot perceive it, even in prayer? But hear me, he was able to pick that, that insight 
in the place of sound. When we are making definite sounds, the spirit lifted him and transported him. Hear me. For you to be transported. Hear me. Sounds are vehicles of transportation. You can be here and know what is happening to your children in the US. By sound. By sound. By sound. You can be here and, be, and know who is plotting for your downfall in your office. By sound. By sound. By sound. It's time to make sound. You are too quiet. Make some sound in the spirit. Because sounds are conveyors of spirits. Spirit travels by sound. Hear me, sir. We activate seasons by sound. Number three, we, we are vehicled and transported by sound. Number four, sound in prayer assists us to capture the voice of God. We capture God's voice in sounds. We capture God's voice in sound. Sound in prayer assists us to capture the sounds of the spirits. It is the sounds of the spirit that enables us to capture the voice of God. Read for me 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 7. Praying in tongues is a sound coming directly from the spirit. The best way to make some good sound is praying in tongues, praying in the spirit. It makes you to capture the sounds of the spirit faster. The sounds of tongues is a communication that is higher than human frequency. The sounds of tongues is a communication that is higher than human frequency. From that frequency, from the sound of tongues, the sound of tongues, the sound of the spirit, you cross the horizontal line of confidence. What did he say, sir? Yes, sir. And even things without life giving sound. Even things without life, they give sound. Whether pipe or herb. Whether pipe or high. Ex herbs. Herb, yes. Except they give a distinction except, in the sounds. Except they give a distinction in the sounds. How shall it be known? How shall it be known? What is piped or harped? What is piped or harped? Yes, How shall we know? How will the spirit know who is making the right sound if you don't make the sound that is right? Hey. Negative sound attracts negative spirits. Positive sounds. Continue, sir. Attract positive spirit. Verse yes, 8. For if the trumpet if gives the, an uncertain sound, if trumpet gives certain sound, who shall prepare himself to the battle? Uh -huh. Who shall prepare himself for the battle? Yes, By the grace of God, I'm a, I'm a son of a military, a retired soldier. Mm -hmm. I've been in army barracks in my life at least for 25 years. So I understand the, 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 the technicality of military. Now listen to me. Every 6 p.m. there's a sound they make in the, with the trumpet. Wherever you are, that sound, if you are a soldier or a child of a soldier or a, a wife of a soldier or a grandmother of a soldier, even if you are washing clothes, everybody stands at attention. It is a 6 o'clock cry. Everybody stand at attention. All of them in uniform, they give a salute. They remain like that for three minutes. Whoever you are. If you are a child and you are walking when that sound is made, get ready for Koboko. Get ready for Koboko. Everywhere, all the soldiers, if there is a main road that passes through the barracks, all cars come to a standstill. Everybody, including taxi drivers, everybody comes out of their car and stood at attention. Because it's a time to honor the heroes and the champions of the militaries. Then my friend, there's another sound. It's a sound of battle. 1985, I was in the barracks when Metesini invaded Gombe and we were cutting head and drinking blood. You just cut people head, hold their neck and be sucking the blood. People began to run from everywhere into the barracks. I had a sound I never had. There was a sound of a trumpet. The military began to blow. When the military heard the sound, those that are in the bathroom cleaned their face with soap, ran and wore uniform and boots. Everywhere before you save 15 minutes, the whole barracks was empty of military. All of them have moved straight to quarter guard, ready to assemble themselves. And AK-47 were given to them. Bam! They enter into town to confront Metesini. 
Within 30 minutes, the military were already in town. It was a trumpet that gives a sound. It was a sound of war. The Bible says, when a sound is blown, who shall be ready? When the trumpet is blown, who shall be ready for battle? Who shall be ready for battle? If there is any time we need to battle on our knees, we need to determine the outcome of our generation. We need to silence wickedness and the powers of iniquity on our altars and on our pews. This is the time to make the sound. Many of you, your life have entered the realm that requires intervention. It's time to make some sound. It's time to make some sound. It's time to make a sound. It's time to make some sound. We are living in a time of great threat. A time of emergency. I saw in the spirit when Nigeria was engulfed in blood. We are being fought from all fronts. And the Lord says it's time to make sound. You are seeing military weapons hid in cattles, in lorries, hid in bag of rice taken to the east. You are seeing almajiris littered everywhere. Every forest in the south and in the west right now. Militants have been trained and sent. There is a battle going on. There is a cry of war against the soul of Nigeria. There is a demand for the soul of Nigeria. There are a set of people who say Nigeria cannot have peace. And all we do as Christians is to be fighting ourselves on Facebook. Attacking ourselves on Facebook. Who is called and who is not called. We men of God are not helping the matter. We go about separating ourselves as if we are running calls and all calls. Because I don't preach what you preach. You separate me. I separate you. We have our own colleagues, our own cadres. We are separating the body of Christ when our enemies are uniting. It's time to throw our differences. It's time to make a sound. If we don't make a sound, we will not like what we are seeing. Already the Kaduna, Southern Kaduna is being rioted right now. Everywhere there is killing. Even three days ago, 67 lost their lives. Four days ago, 22 lost their life. There is a massacre going on even in COVID-19. What is going on? There is an agenda. The voice of the enemy is crying. It's time for us to blow the trumpet in Zion. It's a sound alarm in my holy mountains. It's time to raise a cry. It's time to raise a cry. So that the sword of the wicked can be brought down. So that the agitation of hell can be silenced. So that the aggression of the wicked can be tamed. So that the forces that fought the gospel and fought our nation can be internally silenced. It's time to raise a cry. went to their own company when they were flogged they made a sound they said behold they are threatening behold they are threatening and grant unto thy servant that with all boldness we may preach your word and that by the stretching forth of hands signs and wonders may be wrought through the name of thy holy child Jesus and the Bible said after they have prayed where they prayed shook and the Bible said and they received the Holy Ghost they proceeded they made a sound Every resistance in your life requires a sound. It's time to make a sound. Because it is in sound we hear God's voice clearly. Sound is the package that wraps the voice of God. Anytime we make sound, the voice of God becomes clearer. So the pathway to the voice of God is a journey through the tunnel of sound. The pathway to the voice of God is a journey through the tunnel of sound. If you don't know how to make sound, you cannot assess the voice of God. God never does anything until somebody makes sounds. God never does anything until he makes sounds. When we begin to pray, we make sound. When we begin to make sound, the Bible said, through the voice of God shall the Assyrian be brought down. The voice of God is wrapped in the sounds of the people of God. If we know how to make sound, we release the voice of God. And the voice of God defeats our enemies. The voice of God are upon the waters. The voice of God divides the flames of fire. The word of God breaks the cedars in Lebanon. The voice of God demolishes Islamic and Fulani Malaysias. The voice of God ends the aggression of the enemy. The shedding of blood. The voice of God defeats our enemies. The voice of God, child of God, divides the water. Prayer is the flow of sound. 
between a man and his maker. Prayer is the flow of sound between a man and his maker. So the temperature of a Christian is measured by the sound of his prayers. The temperature of a Christian is not measured by his bank account. The temperature of a Christian is not measured by his political prowess and political accomplishment. The temperature of a child of God is measured by the sounds of his prayer. Hear me, sir. The sound of prayer gives life. Everything around you dies when the sounds of prayer dies. Everything around you goes down when the sounds of prayer deflects. Prayer is the oxygen of a spiritual man. The sounds of prayer are the oxygen of a spiritual man. Without it, you die. Prayer. A prayerful man is a careful man. He cannot be a victim of the onslaught of the devil. When the enemy shall come like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall raise a standard against him. So standards are raised against wicked people whenever we know how to pray. A prayerless man is a careless man. A prayerless man is out of control. If Satan steals the sound that comes from your prayer, he has taken the control of your life. If Satan steals the sound that comes out of your prayer, it means he has taken charge over your destiny. Press the share button, somebody. Press the share button. I'm telling you, I came to sponsor righteous rebellion. I came to break the present status quo. I came to tell you that the level you are is over. It's time to make some sound to cross another level. To step into another realms, another seasons. Hear me, hear me. You cannot be a needy when God has designed you to be meeting needs. You cannot be a beggar when God has designed you to be giving. You cannot be in need when God has designed you to be a supplier. Whatever has reduced you to the state in which you are, by the sound of prayer, I curse that spirit. 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 From today, I declare the spirit of the Holy God. Let it invade your atmosphere. Let it invade your atmosphere. If Satan can steal your sound, the sound that comes from your prayer, it means he has steal the control of your life. That means eventually the outcome of your life is not going to be determined by you. It's going to be determined by the happiness of the times in which you live in. To make impact, you must make sound. Number five, child of God. What is the importance of sound? The sounds of prayer unlock the forces of eternity. Eternity is locked up with forces. Eternity is buried in forces. The sounds of prayer is where the forces of eternity lies. The forces of the I am. The power that makes the I am. Hear me, sir. It is a sound of prayer that activates the forces of eternity. You came here on earth original. If you don't know how to make sounds in prayer, you will die fake. You came here original. You came here with true essence. You came here to shine. You landed on planet earth with glory. There is the glory of the sun. Another is the glory of the moon. Another is the glory of the star. For one star different from another in glory. We are crafted and born for glory. Psalm 92 said, Every creation is created for glory. But hear me. The glory of your life can become shamification. If you do not understand how to make sounds. Sounds in prayer is not an advice. Sounds in prayer is a life you must live by. You must learn to make sound. Your sound in prayer is the capital asset for, your, for a meaningful living. Your sound in prayer is the capital asset for a meaningful living. To have a meaningful existence, to have an impactful life, you must make sound in prayer. It's your capital asset for a meaningful existence. Where the sounds of prayer are absent, the workings of eternity are paralyzed. The operations of eternity are paralyzed. The assistance of heavens is in that. The intervention of the supernatural is barricaded. The entire forces of eternity are paralyzed towards your life. So you'll be operating with natural ex ex incidences. Nat you'll be a victim of natural happenings. You will not be divinely assisted. There will be no supernatural intervention. So whatever faces you, face you out. 
it was divine assistance. It was the operations of eternity that makes a man enter lion's den and lions became massaging pillows and mattresses. It was the operations of eternity that makes a man enter fire and was fireproofed. And yet the men that threw them into the fire were burnt to death. It was the operations of eternity. It was the operations of eternity that made the head of Mordecai not to be swallowed by the sword of Haman. It was interventions from the heavens. My friend, where heavens are assisting you, when the forces of eternity are deploying your direction, you don't become victims in the, in the hands of wicked men. <laughs> you attract eternity and get eternity to work for you when you make sounds in prayer. When your sounds in prayers are intact, the forces of eternity assist you. The forces of eternity are unlocked by the sound of your prayer. Sounds of prayer is what connected to all that eternity exists to represent. So hear me, sir. The forces of eternity travels by the sound of your prayer. The forces of eternity travels on the sound of your prayer, on the wings of the sound of your prayer. We receive all that eternity has for us. All that the heights of the heavens have positioned for us. All of the glories of the mountains of Zion. They are made visible in our lives and our mortality by the sounds of our prayer. It is the sound we make a prayer that create the intentions of God for our life. That create the purpose of God for our destiny. The supernatural invades your atmosphere through the sounds you make in prayer. Not to release the waves of heaven like the sounds of prayer. It's time to make sounds. Your atmosphere must not be empty of sounds. Your atmosphere must be swallowed by sounds. Because where there is sound, there is voice. The sounds of prayer captures the voice of God. The voice of God secures the verdict of the universe. The voice of God secures the verdict of the universe. Exodus chapter 18 and verse 19. Where there is the sound, the forces of eternity is deployed. One of the forces of eternity that is deployed in your direction is the voice of God. The voice of God is in display anytime there is sounds. The answer to the confusion of our generation is the voice of God. The answer to your marriage-less condition is the voice of God. The answer to why your ministry is not growing is the voice of God. The reason why your business is nose diving is the voice of God. One voice of God can change your level playing ground. One voice of God can take you from the backside to the front line. One voice of God can catapult you from zero to hero. To become an empty tomb of envy. What voice of God? Voice of God is the maker of man. The voice of God is what differentiates one musician from another musician. The voice of God is what separates pastors from other pastors. My friend, the voice you hear determines the victory you will command. And the voice of God travels in sounds of men. Travels in sounds of men. Exodus 18 and verse 19. What did he say, sir? The voice of God comes through the voice of men. The sounds that men make. Go ahead. Hearken now unto my voice. Yes. I will give thee counsel. And Are you the Exodus? Exodus 18, verse 19. 19. Okay, Exodus 19, 18. Let's see. And the trumpet went high and high, and the voice of God came up. And Mount Sinai was altogether on a smoke. Go ahead. Because the Lord descended upon it in fire. In fire, the next verse. And when the voice of the trumpet sounded When the loud, voice of the trumpet sounded loud. And what louder and louder. As the sound went louder in the spirit. Moses spake and God answered him by a voice. Hellebos, yes. Moses spake in the midst of the sound. And God answer by a voice i prophesy to somebody here the voice of god that divides a flame i release it into your relationship i release the voice of god in your marriage i release the voice of god in your business the voice of god that breaks it in lebanon let it break the resistance that has stood between you and your breakthrough lift up your hands say lord i need your voice the voice of god are carriers of human sounds. 
They are makers of human vessels. The voice of God are carried by human sounds. And that voice is a maker of human vessels. <laughs> They asked John, who are you? He said, I'm a voice crying in the wilderness. What was he doing in the wilderness? The Bible says he was in the wilderness until the time of his showing forth. <laughs> what was he doing? He was making sound in the wilderness. He made sound to a point in the wilderness. When the time of his showing forth came, all that matter in Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria emptied themselves in the wilderness. To hear a man because he made a sound. He made a sound. He dared to hear the voice of God. His generation came to hear his voice. He made a sound to a point that he could clearly know what God is saying for the hour. No wonder when Jesus appeared, he could stretch his hand and say, Behold the lamp of God that taketh the sins of the whole world. He didn't need to shake his body. He just saw it. He knew it. Because men who are sound makers, a man who can assess his voice until a man with a sound cries in prayer hear me sir your dwelling place cannot turn to a fountain your glory cannot manifest if you can catch the voice then you can institute heaven on earth if you can catch the voice of God you will matter your generation men of sound are men that host God in their life Men of sound are men that host divinity in their existence. Anywhere they go, they command the presence of divinity. They host the I am in their mortality. So, defeat is eminent where sounds are not made. Where there is sound, there is the voice of God. First Samuel chapter 3 verse 1, in those days, the Bible said, the voice of God was so scarce, there was no open vision. There was no open vision. No wonder there was deflection everywhere. People were dying. Open and finish has died everywhere. But a man there to be in the temple crying and placing the man and making sound somewhere. Samuel was making sound. That sound attracted the voice of God. And the Lord called him and said, Samuel, Samuel. From that day, the man became a renowned prophet. A valuable prophet. An undoubted prophet. A prophet whose word didn't fall to the ground for 40 years. Because of the kind of voice he had. Because he was in a he positioned himself to make sounds. He was at the temple of God. He was right in Shiloh. Where Eli the priest was. Eli was quiet but Samuel was making sounds. And from there the voice of God rose. And became the platform upon the ministry of this Petrarch strived. Hear me, hear me well. The sound of your voice determines the kind of voice that you will command in your darkest hours of life. It's time. To make sounds. Time will fail me. Time will fail me. Time will fail me. I'll put you in front. In front of my melody. You are all the mothers. You are all the mothers. I will make room for two. You and I, Jesus. You are all the mothers. You are all the mothers. I'll put you in front. In front of my melody. You are all the mothers. You are all the mothers. I'll make room for two. You and I, Jesus. You and I, Jesus.
are all the mothers. You are all the mothers. It's time. <laughs> it's time. To make sounds. Your house is too quiet. Make some sound. They were in the upper room. Making sounds. Their sound batted another sound from heaven. That sound from heaven responded with the Holy Ghost. Cloving tongues as fire sat upon them. I have seven points. Let me run. Number six. Why is a sound of prayer important? The sound of prayer unleashes the strength of the spirit. Isaiah 40 and verse 31. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. There is a strength in the spirit that is not natural. There is a strength in the spirit that does not allow you to break down and be weary when men are weary. weary. There is a strength that cannot be subscribed to mortal men. If you live in mortal realm, you cannot get that strength. Have you not heard? Have you not known? Verse 28. That the everlasting God, the creator of the heavens, does not fail. Nor does he grow weary. That means there is a God, there is a deity that lacks the ability to faint. There is a deity that lacks capacity to be wearied. There is a deity who does not know, he is not crafted to faint. His system does not prescribe and does not subscribe fainting. No matter what comes against him, he does not faint. And hear me, he gives you that capacity in the place of sound. They that wait upon the Lord. They shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagle. They shall run and not be weary. Even the young man shall utterly fall. Hear me. The strongest of all human race is the young man. The strongest of mortals is the young man. Even the young man shall grow weary. Shall tire out because of the battles of life. Shall faint because of austerity, catastrophe, and cataclysm. But there is a realm in God. There's a realm called the realm of sounds. When you make sound, there is the deployment of strength that are not natural. It is an unsearchable, unbeatable strength. It's a strength that does not weary out. It's a strength that does not die out. It's a strength that runs when others are fainting. It's a strength that makes you an auto encourager, a mobile encourager. You are not discouraged by whatever you face, you are too strong for the devil. You are so strong for any catastrophe that will confront you. You cannot die out or weary out. It is only in prayer we connect such energy. Such energy from the only being that lacks the ability to faint. It is only in prayer. In Matthew 26 verse 40, he found Peter asleep. He said, can't you watch with me for one hour? Can't you make sound with me for one hour, Peter? I thought he was talking to the disciple, but he was really talking to Peter. Peter was the head of the church. Peter spoke to a man carrying something on his Jesus I mean spoke to a man carrying something on his head called Peter Peter was to be the head of the church few hours few days ago Jesus said you are Peter you are a rock upon you I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail that means prophetically Peter was designed to carry the church on his head Peter was to lead the church the next dispensation the next seasons and the moves of God but Peter lack of capacity to make sound we discovered that when Peter came into time when he should matter most, Peter was not number one, he was number two. The man who knows how to make sound take his place. The man who knows how to make sound represented, became the head of the church, James by name. In Acts chapter 15, look at it, verse 13. We saw that when certain decisions we are to be taken, we discovered that Peter, Peter, because of lack of sound in the spirit, cannot detect the moves of God. He lacks strength to face the condition that confront him. He lacks strength to face the challenge that came against him. Peter began to sing another song. What was the song? When Paul and Silas came to tell the apostles how God had moved in the Gentiles nation and has given salvation. And Peter described how the encounter he had 
with Colenos, how salvation came to Colenos. Well, he yes, speaker, the Holy Ghost fell on them. Even without giving their life to Christ, they spoke in tongues. They were filled with the Holy Ghost. Peter began to say to um, but uh, we, we should, read it for me, verse 13. Uh, we should tell them to do sacrifices. If not for James, yes, who knows how to make sounds in the spirit yeah. and can predict spiritual sounds yes, and can develop energy enough Jesus. to take a decision, yes, he would have plunged the church of Jesus today yeah. into sacrifice and killing of animals today we'd have seen your pastor talena with long cap like a priest that is a sadducee killing god and rams on the altar because of a pastor who cannot speak the mind of god because he lacks strength to face human faces oh, jesus many of you can't tell people the truth because you lack the energy to look at their mm. face you pretend about everything you lie to people when you should tell them the truth jesus. you fear human face they talk against you, you want to die. They run you down, you want to die. <laughs> you should hear the person say, one man talk about me for seven years. I decided not to be aware. He turned my books on television for seven years. I did not give him attention. Yes, sir. I faced my work. I faced my work. Until my work faced him out. Jesus. Nobody hears his voice. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes, sir. It takes strength to confront the voice of opposition. God. It takes strength. Mm. If thou faint in the days of adversity, Kandoa. all this backsliding, this discouragement, this depression you are carrying is a strengthless life. Jesus. It's a strengthless life. You are not making sound. So you are too powerless. You are too empty of God and empty of divinity. The strength of the immortal God is not available in you. That's how you can faint at every slightest opposition. And barriers. People talk about you. You are crying for three days. We no go agree. We no agree. Carry placard. Call this one. Call this one. We must see that. We must divide. My friend, you are a waste of God's time. It's time to say like Paul. None of these things move me. Read it for me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And after they had held their peace, after they had held their peace, James answered. James answered. Saying, saying, men and brethren, men and brethren. Hearken unto me. Hacking unto me. Simeon had declared how God at the first did visit the Gentiles. Simon, Peter have declared how God did visit the Gentiles. To take out of them a people for his name. He take out for them a people of his name. And to this agree the words of the prophets. And this agree the words of the as prophets. As it is written. As it is written. After this, After this I will return. Now, now verse 19. Verse 19. Wherefore, my, my sentence is. Dear James, I, I love the man of strength. Yes, Therefore, sir. my judgment is. That we trouble not them. We should trouble not the Gentiles again. Which from among the Gentiles are turned to God. Which among the Gentiles are turned to God. But that we write unto them. That we write unto them. That they abstain from pollutions. They abstain from pollutions. Of idols. Of idols. And from fornication. And from fornication. And from things strangled. And the things strangled. And from blood. That they should go away from their idolatry and serve the living God. We should no longer put circumcision, put uh, obeying the laws, put on all the Old Testament, making of sacrifice on the Gentiles. James said, this is my judgment. And today it became a law. Yes, sir. Because a man dared to put on strength. When it is time for Peter to speak, when it matters move, he started his denials again. Once a denier, ever a denier. Started, um, um, um. Yeah, the Holy Ghost showed me, oh, uh, if it will bring problem, uh, 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 it was started shifting ground. James, the prayer warrior, the man that knows how to make sound, has developed, said the effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man. Make a tremendous sound and power available. They are dynamic. They are dynamo in their workings. They are dynamics in their operation. They are high perpetual correct power. They can reproduce themselves anywhere. He said, I'm in possession of that power. In the strength of my sound, this is my judgment. And it came to stay. How can you have a daughter that is coming by 2 a.m.? You can't talk to her. You lack strength to reply. Witches are in your house. You can't speak to them. You cannot coordinate your house. You can't coordinate your marriage. You are in a department. You can't coordinate the department. 
Confusion everywhere. Where is the sound you are making in the spirit? You cannot contrast. You cannot rule church by strength. By flesh. Some of you who are criticizing pastor. If I let you pastor this church for one year, you will die of hypertension. Because human beings you are pastoring. You tell one, come here. He moves here. He moves here. It is strength. They say women are weak. Women are not weak. Stay with four children for only one week as a man. You will know the capacity of a woman. When three of them, mommy, you know, I hit my head. Damn me, he has carried my baby. Mommy, the other one is coming. Every one of them. Then you will know that the woman has a kind of strength. One man told the wife, what are you doing? Every day I'm going to bring food. You are busy eating and be fatting in the house. The wife said, Lord, what do I do? The Lord said, tell your husband you are traveling to your parents. Give him two weeks. Leave the five children for him. Two days after, the man called the wife. Please, when are you coming back? Because every day I need house girl. Say which house girl? You don't need any maid. Do it yourself. Say, honey, this is just two days. Remain 12 days. Say, I will die before you come. He said, no, honey. <laughs> I am very lazy now. So please take care of them. Take care of, uh, take care, take care, take care. Five days later, he drove himself. I went and knelt down before the wife. Say, forgive my sins. I'm a dead man. Come back. From that day, he started paying a salary of 150000 Minus house, house kept keep. He said, from today, this is your salary for taking care of my children. I mistake you. Now he understood the strength and the capacity of a woman. My friend, hear me. There is a realm in God where you command unprecedented strength. The great things you are carrying can only be taken delivery of by the strength you carry. Only sounds in prayer set the coordinate of science in your life. Only sounds in prayer, child of God, helps you to take advantage of the plans of God for your life and the purposes of God for your life and bring them into fruition. If you refuse to make sounds in prayer, your destiny will be manipulated. The outcome of your life will be subverted. And the help of your destiny will be thwarted. But if you can learn to make sound, there's no lifting, there's no realm you can rise. Finally, in this service, sounds of prayer, the most, what is the importance of the sounds of prayer? Sounds of prayer releases the flow of light. The flow of light. First, uh, I mean, Colossians chapter 1 verse 12. Say our inheritance is in the light. The reason why many cannot see their inheritance, the inheritance of divine health, the inheritance of prosperity, is in the light. If you are not lighted, you can never see inheritance. Read it for me. Colossians chapter 1 verse 12. If you are not lighted, sounds of prayer opens you to the dimensions of God that produce light, that makes you an extension of that dimension. Am I talking to somebody here? Sounds you make a prayer opens you up to the dimensions of God, and that dimension becomes an extension. You become an extension of that dimensions of God. Hear me, read this for me, sir. Giving thanks unto the Father, giving thanks unto the Father, which how? Had made us meet, meet to, to be, be partakers of the inheritance of the inheritance of the saints, of the saints in light. In light, yes, sir. We are partakers. Of the inheritance of the saints. We are in light. Only in light. Can you partake of divine healing. Only in light. Can you be monificated and monidated. Only in light. Will you walk divine, in divine health. And in prosperity. My friend. All our inheritance can only be received. In the light. Nothing produces light. Like the sound we make. Our sounds on our knees is the bad place of light. Only men of sound can articulate and express light. Without sound, you cannot express light. Without sound, you cannot articulate light. If you have not caught a light, uh, my friend, you have no message for your generation. If you have not caught a light, uh, your generation will disrespect you. Your generation will reckon to you based on the light you are able to contact. There is a dimension of God that when you assess that dimension, you become an extension of that dimension on planet Earth. You begin to reveal the dimensions of God. God to your generation based on the dimension of the light that was made available to you in God. My friend, 
all preachers can preach everything. All of us operates and preaches a dimension of God. And every dimension of God is at the mercy of the light given to us in that dimension. If God stretch his hands, the light you see that is stretched on his hands will determine the kind of way you can describe his hands. When God gives you his back, the light on his back is the capacity in which you can describe the dimension of God as far as his back is concerned. So hear me and hear me well. You matter to your generation based on the dimension of God you have been lighted for. Hear me and hear me well. How much of God do you know? What dimension of God do you exist to represent? How much of the dimension of God are you unleashing to your generation? My friend, your generation will not respect you until you are lighted in the dimension of God. So light is a doorway into the dimension of God that is built up into our spirit. And only can then, can we capture that dimension and make it available to our generation. Your life is judged not by how long you stay in church. Your life is judged by not how long you are a member of a church. The light, your life is judged by the intensity of the light you command. By the intensity of the light you command. How far you go is not by your membership of a church. It's not by the sticker of the church in your car. How far you go in destiny is by the dimension of light you are able to connect in God. And hear me, the fastest way to command light is to make sounds in prayer. I pray for you that the eyes of your understanding may be enlightened. I pray for you. I make sound for you. That the eyes of your understanding may be enlightened. That you may know what is the hope of his calling. And what is the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the sand. That you may know. That you may see. That you may know. That you may see. All of this thing is given on the, within the parameters of light. And light, child of God, is deduced in the place of sound. So what aspect of God does this world see through you? What aspect of God does your generation see through you? That is the revelation of the light you have captured. It is the revelation of the light you have captured. With it, that means the dimension of God you will show to your generation. If you are showing God in the area of prosperity because you have captured the light of prosperity. If you are revealing God in the area of healing, see me, I've not been six since I joined church. I've not been six since I've been serving God. It means you have captured the light in the dimension of healing. See me, since I became a member, I've never been broke. I have never lacked. My business has been prospering. Since I've been serving Jesus, I moved from one nation to another doing business. It is the dimension of light in that area of prosperity that you have captured. Show me. Anywhere you are showing God is, in, is that dimension, is as a result of the dimension of light you have captured in that dimension. Can I talk to somebody here? So anywhere you are inadequate, if you are broke, it's not because the God you serve is not a prosperous God. It's not a supplier. It's because you have not captured the light of God in the area of prosperity. The dimension of God you give expression is a function of the dimension you are seeing in the spirit. So some of you are supposed to be an expression of the love of God. When people see you, they see God's love. Some of you are supposed to be an expression of the power of God. When they see you, they see the power of God. Some of you are supposed to be an expression of the prosperity of God. When they see you, they see prosperity. Can I ask you, what dimension of God can people see in your life? Many of you are so mistaken and so lost in everything that we don't even know where to identify you. Money, you don't have. Health, you don't have. Prayer life, you don't have. Understanding the word of God, you don't have. Evangelism, you cannot do. All you do, all you are full of is carnality and meatiness. You have no internal value. You have no internal value. Hear me, Lord, cause your light to shine. Cause your light. It is in the place of sound that God said to Moses, tell them that the Lord will cause the light of his countenances to shine upon you. Lighted men are men of his presence. Lighted men are men of sounds. Lighted men are commanders of his presence. Men of his presence are popular among immortals. Men of his presence are popular in the regions of Zion. Men of his presence are popular, child of God, with are known for strange hunger, strange appetite for God. Men of his presence are men of light. Men of light are men of sound. 
Hear me. Light travels by the speed of sound. Even in physics, we are told that the force of light travels by the speed of sound. How do we produce light in water? When the water makes sound and noise, they, it develops heat. The heat that comes out of the water is the electricity we have today from Kanji Dam. All the dams we have. Because the water that is slow and quiet is useless. It has no impact. But the water that makes sound, that is being troubled, is the water that produces energy. The energy of God is produced in the place of sound. That is why they went to make sound. Grant unto thy servant that with all boldness we may make known your presence. Men of his presence and men of sound. In command in our days commanded strange sounds. I mean strange presence. Because she was a woman of sound. History told us that she prays 16 hours every day. She makes sounds. She makes sound to a point that if you are passing through her gate and by the back side of her fence, you hear her talking with the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. What do we have to the Holy Ghost? You know I love you, Holy Ghost. You know we cannot do without you, Holy Ghost. I know, I know, I know cripples will come. What have you got to say about the cripples? Holy Ghost, what have you got to say about the blind? She kept talking, she kept talking for 16 hours making sound. By the time she comes out of making sound into the service, she carries a presence. As she walks, people are collapsing on the ground. The other day, 1963, she was to preach in full gospel businessmen in Oklahoma. And uh, there was no space for her to enter. She has to go through the kitchen to get to the back door so that she can access into, have access into the hall. Because the hall was over, over flooded with people till outside. And she needed to dodge people and enter through the kitchen. Immediately she entered. There were over 24 cooks uh, with with chef cap on their head uh, and with spoon in their hands uh, cooking in the hotel uh, and she waved her hands say hello and she was waving hands uh, cooks were going down on the floor uh, power was bringing them down uh, with their chefs and with the spoon uh, they were falling on the ground uh, and they were collapsing passing out uh, they were going backward jumping and screaming and they rattle in tongues there was sound all over in the kitchen she said what is happening what is happening the sound went ahead of her they, one of the cook ran into the hall touched one of the pastor he started sound before she could enter sound over 15,000 people everybody was making sound the presence came just Jiffy, a man of sound Everywhere he goes, waving hands, people fall. Here, yeah, Father Nash, whenever they pray, it is like a place where two elephants fall. Men of sound. Sabra Marovia, he prayed and made sound to a point that the stain of his breath stained the room. Anybody who was brought into that room was healed. No matter how they are their cases are. This generation needs to make sound. When you see fathers of the faith, Men who persecution oppositions cannot bury them. Men like Bishop Oyedepo, men like Papa Ayo, men like Chris Aya Clomy, men like Kenneth E. Hagen. With all the persecutions people give an opposition, they still weather the storm and become stronger and stronger. My friend, they are people of sound. Anytime you meet people of sound, they are people of his presence. When you meet people of his presence, they are people that have heard his voice. Every now and then, people hear his voice distinctively. It is his voice that separate men. It is his voice that catapults you and make an envy. What sound are you making? Because the sound you make determines what you capture in the realm of the spirit. I show you a mystery. This is the hour to make sound. There's never been a time uh, that this generation need to make star. We're in a time of great lawlessness, time of helplessness, time of great threat, time of great fear. We are righteousness is being mocked. We are people who live right, uh, are being seen as obsolete. Uh, we are people who say the truth, uh, are silenced uh, and kept aside. Uh, it's a place where iniquity holds the stage that stage. Uh, unrighteousness is being celebrated. Where wicked men speak against
experience the things of God like never before. If there is any time we need to go back to making sound, this is the time because in sound we activate new seasons, we bat new dispensation, we bat the move of God to our generation, we change our life. There is an unfinished work that is yet to be finished. Jesus is about to come, but before he comes, the work must be finished. To finish that work, we must make sound. Brother, enough of that failure, enough of that lack, enough of that pain, enough of that struggling. It's time to make a sound. Pray in the spirit wherever you are. Sing me that song of father and child. Father to child, spirit to spirit, lighted by your word. Yes, yes, and with your breath of life, that's how I come alive. That's how I change my word. That's how I change my word. To child, father to child, spirit to spirit, spirit to spirit, and by your word, Light and by your word, Ooh, with your breath of life, with your breath of life, I come, that's how I come alive, that's how I change my, that's how I change my world. As we are singing, I'll be calling your name. Those of you on Facebook, I'll be calling your name. Those of you on YouTube, I'll be calling your name on Periscope. Just type, just press share. The moment you press share, I'll be calling your name to pray for you. I want to drive the spirit of power. I want you to become a carrier of sound. It's time to make sound in the spirit. I want to make sound on your behalf. Something needs to be released for you. A new season is about to be battered. A new door is about to open. As we sing, breathe upon me, spirit, breathe. Open your mouth and begin to pray in the spirit. And begin to press the sheer bodies. And once you press the sheer body, the right share and I begin to pray for you. The hand of God is coming upon you like a deer. Sing it for me. Lord, Just I pray for you, Jean. You Jean, I think receive the spirit. Pray to Doka. Receive the spirit. Mercy each other. Receive the spirit. Susa. Receive the spirit. Chris Boga. I pray to you the spirit. Saint Matis, I pray the spirit upon you. Mado, Walelu, I pray the spirit upon you. Yabaragada Kalabaza, Caroline, Akwese, I pray the spirit upon you. Blessing Uzamaka, I release the bread of the spirit upon you. Tochi, I release the bread of the spirit upon you. Kim Kim, I release the bread of the spirit upon you. Emerald Imamaka. I release the bread of the spirit upon you. V 
Nikki Onora, I release the bread of the Spirit upon you. Joy, treasure, I invoke the bread of the Spirit upon you. In the name of Jesus, Pastor and Joshua, I release the bread of God upon you. Pastor Jackie Talena, I release the bread of the Spirit upon you. Amarachi Adolphus, I release the bread of the Spirit upon you. Praise your daughter, receive the bread of the Spirit. Ihoma, Umba, receive the bread of the Spirit. Mercy, okay, receive the bread of the Spirit. Hosanna, Ebe, receive the bread of the Spirit. I release upon you the bread of the Spirit. Peseta, receive the bread of the Spirit. We'll see the bread Receive the bread of the Spirit. Caroline Iwama, receive the bread of the Spirit. David Eden, receive the bread of the Spirit. Glamour Joseph, receive the bread of the Spirit in the name of Jesus. Grace and color, I release on you the bread of the Spirit. Nena, I release the Spirit. Ezoma, the bread of the Spirit upon you. Ojogu, Abalaka, I breathe the Spirit of God upon you. Margaret, Chibala, I release the bread of the Spirit upon you. Maragada Golaba, Zandala Brana Gabaza. Kela Baragadaba, Kasina Otoda, I release the breath of the Spirit. Denny Storm, I release the breath of the Spirit. Pajama Osaye, I release the breath of the Spirit upon you. Malaga Labara Labara Baza, Shekota Labranda Galabaza, Labranda Labara Baza. Mike Ochi, I release the breath of the Spirit. Ididi Amaka, I release the breath of the Spirit. Upon in the name of Jesus. Anita Chuku, I release the breath of the Spirit. Rachel Olandusu, I release the breath of the Spirit. Bibi Obi, I release the breath of the Spirit upon you. Pastor Demi Grace, I release the breath of the Spirit upon you in the name of Jesus. Doris Omoyeri, I release the breath of the Spirit upon you in the name of Jesus. Edita Chidi, I release the breath of the Spirit upon you. Juliet, Sophia, I release the bread of the Spirit upon you. Rogada barada la baza, ye baragada barra 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 baza, mandala baragada barra barra baza. Hold on, hold on, I release the bread of the Spirit upon you. Ye baragada barra baza, mandala baza, mandala baza. Shola, I release the bread of God upon you. Messi Aduni, I release the bread of God upon you. Na Kosu, I release the bread of God upon you. Linda. I release the breath of God upon you. To Lere and I release the breath of God upon you. John Fala, I release the breath of God upon you. Princess Goodness Chuku, I release the breath of God upon you. Andrew Paul, I release the breath of God upon you. Theophilus, I release the breath of the Spirit upon you. Praise, I release the breath of the Spirit. I release the breath of the Spirit. Sandra Hans, I release the breath of the Spirit upon in the name of Jesus. Evil of God is Jesus. Caro, the Wamba. Caro, I release the breath. Mary and Yahaya, I release the breath of the Spirit. Zina Matis, I release the breath of the Spirit upon you. Michael, I release the breath of the Spirit upon you. In the name of Jesus. Ramed Sabiru. Michael Sule. Receive the breath of the Spirit. I keep Peters. Receive the breath of the Spirit. And now Ephon. Ephon, receive the breath of the Spirit. Receive the breath of the Spirit. Receive the bread of the spirit. Ajo Chogu, receive the bread of the spirit. 
my people receive the breath of the spirit Lift up your hands, say, My father, my father. Shout it louder, my father, my father. I make a sound in prayer concerning my career, concerning my business, concerning my marriage, concerning my church, concerning my pastor. Concerning my nation, Nigeria, I raise a sign. Open your mouth and raise a sign. Ya baraka da kala barabaso, ya baraka da barabaso, brada la baraka la baso, shenda la baraka da barabaso, ya baraka da barabaso, ya baraka da barabaso, ya baraka da barabaso, ya brada la baraka la baso, ya baraka da baraka la baso, ya brada la baraka la baso, ya brada la baraka la baso, ya brada la baraka la baso, ya baraka da barabaso, ya kala baso da la baraka so, ya brada la baraka la baso, ya brada la baraka so, ya brada Make some song. La baraka la baraka so, la baraka la baraka so, aska payata la baraka la playa, la baraka toko baso, la baraka la baraka so, la baraka tolo baraka so. Make some song. La baraka la baraka so, la baraka la baraka so. Mandala baraka la baraka, kolo baso la baraka, baraka la baraka la baso, baraka la baraka baso, shaka la baraka baso. In Jesus name. Wherever you are, lift up your hands as I pray. I need you. Every hour, more precious love. Lord, tender voice, I thank and peace of God. I need, I need, oh. release you today become men of his presence I steer sound in your spirit be sound creators articulate sounds make sounds in your spirit a spirit of God travels on the waves of your sounds 
I wire you to the immortal God. I peep into the chambers of heaven. I stand on the mountains of Zion. And I invoke the presence of immortality. And clothe you with the garment of fire. I declare you a burning altar. In your generation. I inflame your spirit. I release the surge of power. I command the spirit of restlessness to take hold of you. Appetite for iniquity dies. Appetite for God be steered. I command you to journey into prayers. Journey in the realms and waves of sound. In the name of Jesus. Be overwhelmed by the spirit of God. I breathe on you the breath of power. And by the sound of the spirit, I command healings to your bodies, healings to your flesh, diabetes go, high blood pressure go, disease go, migraine go, stiff neck go, paralysis of all form leave, miracles be released, signs and wonder be rough, be invaded with the power of the highest, be overshadowed by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I dedicate your life on this altar of Jehovah. Be a burning flame in your generation. In the mighty name of Jesus, I bless you today. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Give me five amen loud and clear. Two, three, four, five, amen. Wow, have you been blessed? It is greater than any miracle. Greater than any prophecy. Setting your soul on fire. Tomorrow is me and mama. <laughs> on marriage and relationship. Setting your home on fire for God. Marriage and relationship. Five o'clock on the doth. Monday. I will be asking mama a lot of questions. Tomorrow. It's going to be heavy. Right now as I give you more announcement. I would like us to take our offerings. Wherever you are under the sound of my voice, when you are blessed, you give. If you don't have, you will dance. You must give something. If you can't give an offering, you must give a dance. You must give a dance. You must celebrate. Don't you dare off your data. Don't go off that TV. You must give God a dance on a Sunday morning for receiving a blessing from the Lord. Titus, you can show your, give your tithe. You can give your seed. You can support the television ministry. Wherever you are, package those offerings, start giving. I hear this announcement. From next week, Sunday, we are upgrading our satellite TV to HD. HD from standard to HD. So we are moving from MPEG 2 to MPEG 4. Give the Lord a clap offering. Now, the good news is our delivery will be sharper, clearer, and cleaner. But the bad news is half of you will go out of circulation that are watching on TV right now. 58 million of you watching right now may go off. Half of you may go off. The reason is you are using the old decoder. Your old decoder is standard. It's not HD compliant. Your old decoder cannot get MP4. You can only get people with MP, uh, MP2. If you must go MPEG 4, which is HD. And that is where the wall is going to. So we will not wait for you because you have a substandard de uh, decoder. We won't wait for you. So after one week, you may not be seeing us on your TV, on your satellite again, until you upgrade your decoder from standard to uh, HD. It's just 18,000 Naira, less than $50 to buy that decoder and it's free to air. You can watch it all over the world. If you want to install the decoder, you want more about the decoder, a number will be on the screen right now. You will call that number after the service. They will tell you what to do with the decoder, how to get the decoder installed in your house. You can install that decoder with your D, uh, uh, DSTV and be watching. And better still, you can have this satellite TV on your phone. And there are two ways you can have it on your phone. Go to your app store, download Shepherd's House Assembly International. And from there, straight... Once you download that app, Shepherds International, you can access our Shepherds Touch TV. You can access every materials of the ministry and they how to give in the ministry also. 
But also, you can also download the app of VM Africa, VM for Victor V for Victoria, M for Malaysia, VM Africa. With the map of Africa, it looks reddish. Once you see that app, download it. You have several television stations, and one of our stations, one of the stations is our Shepherd's Touch TV. You can have KICC there. You have Dove TV of the Redeem. You also have ABN of Papa Irish Jaffa. You have the Lost Chosen TV. All of them are all under VM Africa. But you can watch 24 Hour Shepherd's Touch TV. And that is where I'll be gushing and unleashing power and manifestation of the Spirit. So wherever you are, you can watch Shepherd's Touch TV live. And you can also subscribe on our YouTube. There are thousands, over 10,000 messages I've preached for over 20 years. Go there quickly and pick as many and watch them and subscribe to our YouTube so that any new message that comes, they will inform you. And also, you can go to our Facebook and like our Facebook and uh, get through. And I also want to announce that my Instagram was hiked. Over, I lost over 10,800 followers on Instagram. We just started now another new Instagram, even though I'm working on recovering that one, but we are open another one, Apostle Joshua Telina Instagram. We just have 12 followers. You can also subscribe and just follow, like, and follow us, and the blessings of God will be upon you. Now, I bless every giver. I bless every offering. I multiply your seed. I increase your finances. It's a new day. As you sow into this season, I provoke harvest in Jesus' name. And I will have about 10 of us here in this building. God bless you for making time to come. I put the favor of God upon you in the name of Jesus. Those of you here, lift up your hands. I prophesy, Madam Philomena, I speak the favor of God upon you. I speak the favor of God upon my son. What's your name? Tony, I speak the favor of God upon you. Uh, Cyprian, I speak the favor of God upon you, my daughter. John, John, I speak the blessings of God upon you. If I might speak the blessings of God upon you. Namdi, Namdi, I speak the favor of God upon you, sir. Honorable Gabriel, I speak the favor of God upon you. Emmanuel, I speak the favor of God upon you. Jacob, I speak the favor of God upon your life this week. And no, I speak the favor of God upon your life. Daniel, I speak the favor of God upon your life. Adamo, I speak the favor of God upon you. Agnes, I speak the favor of God upon your life. Grace, I speak the favor of God upon your life. Wilson, this week receive the favor of God, my daughter. Sylvia, the favor of God upon you. Grace, I speak the favor of God upon you. Jonathan, I speak the favor of God upon you. If I, I speak the favor of God upon you. Collins, I speak the favor of God upon you. Ephosa, the favor of God upon you this week. Winners, I speak God's favor upon you. My new drama, God bless you. Thank you for replacing that wicked son of mine. I put the favor of God upon you in the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. Eh? Dio, I speak the favor of God upon you. Blessing Chuku, I put the favor of God upon you. Jerry, I put the favor of God upon you. Basi, Victor, I put the favor of God upon you this week. Christian, I put the favor of God upon you. Sunday, I put the favor of God upon you. Justice, Body, put the favor of God upon you. Henry, the favor of God upon you. Sam, uh, Samuel, Samson, the favor of God upon you. Sam, in the studio, the favor of God upon you. And I declare that this week, may you enjoy strange favor in the name of Jesus. I bless you in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. Now, as we are giving the Lord, say we will give him three minutes dance. So wherever you are, my instrumentalists, get up quickly. My backups, get up quickly. As we begin to dance, and everybody around, those of you in the congregation, about 10 of you, I want you to just join in the dance. You can dance in the front, but we must observe distancing. There are 10 of you here who dangerously, anointedly find your way here. I love you for that. We're just going to give God dance. we we'll continue our online services tomorrow by 5 p.m. myself and Mama Jackie Talena is going to be heavy in the house. Don't go off until you give God a five minutes dance.
Until I come your way again tomorrow, not to ever forget. If it is not God, we serve nothing at all. If it is not God, we we'll rather die than to serve Satan. Come on, let's give God dance before I wave you. Yes. Call me 